Actually, names do mean a lot to us. Do you know anybody by the name of Bartholomew? One of my older brothers was called Bartholomew after an uncle who lived in Ireland, and he hated his name. He said, nobody has that name. And we transformed it into various different ways. But as he got older, he came to know more about the name and love it. Names. Why is it that John calls him Nathaniel, and Paul and the synoptics call him Bartholomew? Some have said it's because his last name, as it were, Bar, son of John. Here it's Bar, son of Timaeus. So Bartimaeus, Bartholomew. Whatever, his name indicates and stands for an extraordinary individual in our history of religion and faith. He was a friend of Philip and came to see Jesus. And he was already, even at that time as a young man, acknowledged by Jesus to be extraordinary. Man without guile. I saw you under the fig tree. You were able to recognize me for who I am when we met. His faith was so strong. And he passed on that face through the church. That's why, as an apostle, he is so honored. We think of our own families and our heritages, and there are certain who stand out as pillars, as people who held so much in their own lives that they epitomized what we stood for, personalized it, and passed it on. And that's what apostles do. That's why they're so honored. That's why in the book of Revelation today, we again get this fantastic vision of John about this church, about a new bride, about a new Jerusalem, about all things coming into a new kind of realm through Jesus. And we see the connection with the 12 angels the 12 tribes, and the 12 apostles. That Jesus chooses these people to go out and bear his message of salvation, love, and acceptance to the world. That's why we honor them. And what he promises to Bartholomew is a greater even knowledge of who Jesus is. The intimacy to which he will introduce him about who Jesus is and what he is called to be. It's an intimacy that we get invite, involved to. We get invited into that with the, what times we spend in prayer, where Jesus knows more about us than our name, our height, our color, our background. Jesus knows this intimate, like if you remember from kill a, killing a mockingbird, to know somebody, you get in their skin and you walk around. And that's the kind of knowledge that Jesus has of us as he had of Bartholomew. And so the church today stops and acknowledges him and gives praise and thanks to God for having raised him up as one of these missionaries who went to South Asia, to India, and was martyred by being flayed alive, his skin removed. What suffering that must have been for this uneducated man who had strength and vigor and drive to bring Jesus to our world. It's a great invitation given to us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.